<laughs> all right what is up y'all so today i'm getting ready to go fish a local tributary of mine it's like 30 degrees outside right now and the water temps are like 35 degrees and i wanted to share with you guys what i've been using to keep my feet warm in the freezing cold weather um and so what i've been using is a pair of heated socks that i got off of amazon they're from a brand called new lemo n-e-w-l-e-m-o so i think i said it right they're on sale for 45 dollars right now 45 dollars and four cents if you have prime and i think that's a pretty dang good deal because they've saved my feet and they've kept me on the water fishing for hours longer than i would have been able to before all you gotta do plug this bad boy in right here and they will automatically link to your phone um so right now it shows that the one sock is connected i turn it on that'll turn red and uh now you can adjust your heat right now they're heating up to 97 degrees 96 degrees or you can fire them all the way up and that says 156. so you can set a timer you got these quick settings and you also have the quick heat setting you can unlock this hit this button right here and it'll heat them up to 160 degrees like in no time so with all that said i'm gonna get rigged up in my house now because it's freezing outside i'm gonna get my waders and my socks and everything on now and uh we're gonna head out to the creek to see what happens so i just got to where i'm gonna start fishing set this rod up and i already had a white streamer on it that I tied it's like a faux fur streamer kind of deal <clears throat> something I came up with I don't think it's like a normal big name fly kind of like a deceiver kind of not <clears throat> so I'm gonna go out here Let's see if we can't see anything moving around So I haven't even turned the heated socks on, but I got a feeling once I get into this water, I'm gonna turn them on pretty quick. So I don't wanna get too close to it. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so I've been fishing now for 20 minutes, a half an hour, my feet are starting to get cold. So I'm about to turn these on on the lowest setting, 95 degrees. And I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm feeling here. I instantly, like instantly, as soon as I turned it on, I felt heat. So I'm gonna leave them on the lowest setting for a while, fish for a little bit, and uh, I'll tell you uh, how they do if I don't catch a fish here shortly. So I've been out here two hours now, I think. No bites. But my feet are still warm and I've been standing in the water pretty much the whole time and I can't complain and I have them on the lowest setting, you know. So I'm probably gonna leave them like this and see if I can't get anything to happen. So my feet are starting to get cold, I'm gonna check how long I've been out here and make sure these socks are still on. It says they're still on. Oh, it says only one of them's on. Well, that's why my feet are getting cold. I don't know why that one's not connected anymore. I've been out here at least three hours now. And it's weird that that one's not connected anymore. I wonder if maybe I bumped the button on the sock or something. Oh, I just hit the button and turned it back on. <laughs> so, all right, <clears throat> we're gonna turn them up to 120. And uh, oh, I can feel it getting warm again already. Well, it's four o'clock, I've had these socks on 120 degrees for probably about an hour now. And uh, I don't know if you can see right here. Well, that one's actually off. 
I just turned off. My battery is really, really low. Only my right foot's on right now, I think. <clears throat> so, with that said, they made it about three hours. Where does this trail go? This tree fell down in front of the trail. Well, that sucks. We just recently had a crazy windstorm. And knocked this tree down in front of the trail. I didn't really want to walk back up through the water. I'm going to skip a couple holes and go up to where hopefully there might be a fish. End this video out. Me. over there so it's not exactly easy walking around on these trails without a rod and a net sticking out of your back we had those things and then it's pretty difficult especially when something like this falls on the trail oh but that just happened from windstorm we had like a week ago that's pretty crazy fricker don't do it to me i most definitely cannot afford any pair of waders right now Ooh. what the heck i should not have come this way. Looks like animals have been going this way at least. I don't know about people. Well, I thought I went the easy way to get out. I was wrong. That pricker was just touching my waiter, so that's cool. That one was stuck in my cup. Ow, and then it was stuck in my finger. Great. There we go. It's 420 and I still got <clears throat> one battery on. Ten minutes left. It's getting dark out here. Hopefully I can get one of these fish to eat. He just surfaced someplace else. I heard him. This thing is aggressively attacked by the top water stuff, so, or surface stuff. So. It seems crazy for what time of year it is, but. It was happening tonight. Whew, I gotta get out of here. I just thought. Maybe if I grind it a little longer. One of these fish might be. Not gonna have that. Alright, I'm done. I can't see what I'm doing anymore. Oh, but with that said. I'd like to say that I've actually tried to make this video three times. This is my third time out in a row getting skunked. <clears throat> and it was really hard for me to leave because I know there was a fish in there that the surface had eaten. And I changed my fly like, I don't know, five different times. And I couldn't get in the bite anything. So that's enough to drive me nuts. But... I think that it was still a good demonstration of what these socks can do. And uh, if you're looking for heated socks, I think that uh, these mobile warming socks, or <laughs> if you're looking for socks, I think that these socks that I got on are pretty good. 
You can expect them to last like four to five hours, I think, on the lower settings. Um, if you're looking for something that will last a little longer, I've used the mobile warming socks. Um, and they're a little more of a pain in the butt to use. Um, and they're a little less comfortable than these. And they're twice the money. They're like 90 bucks or something. But I think that the battery lasts twice as long. Um, I think I've had days with them, maybe not twice as long, but I've had seven hour, seven hour days on those mobile warming socks. So if you're thinking about getting some heated socks and you want to be able to fly fish for longer in the winter, I think that you should look at these. You can't beat the price and they do what you need them to do. So with that said, uh, I'm out.